to Renee and Room Flows. <laughs> we are heading uh, up to Rogers. Thank you. Rogers for that huge flea market I've been telling y'all about. But first, we gotta stop for Krispy Kreme Donuts, the important meals of the day. Mmm, donuts. So, we'll be back with you a little later. Bye. Guys, we have made it. Yep. Finally. I don't have long enough arms to do this. Yeah. <laughs> You're like a T-Rex. So guys, here it is. This is the flea market that we're going to. It is all of this right here. Let's go see what we can find. What you finding? Oh, that's cool. Star Wars? Ooh. Yeah. That's an old one. Uh, maybe. Funk. It's made by Funko, so no, it's probably. This is what we need. Fugler. If I get any fugglier, I always say, I don't want to be around. Always tell Robert, why you gotta be so fugly? I found it. these bobbleheads of my geese. Of the monkey. Uh oh, the monkeys. How did I say it? Found bobbleheads of monkeys. <laughs> so guys, this flea market is really cool. It's got all these different rooms and stuff, as you saw a while ago. So I think we're gonna find some great things. Thought this was rather silly. Ah, crap! No crap! Chicken crap! Good crap! Badass crap! And these up here, I thought was funny. <laughs> so guys, I'm still not used to recording when I'm in a flea market because I just feel awkward. I'm afraid I'm either gonna be caught on camera or someone's gonna mention something to me. But nonetheless, I wanted to show you the room. So there was Halloween in this room. There was toys in this room. Lots of neat things. Toys are not my expertise. So I tend to not get those. There was out of this world pillow that made me think of Emma. And just looking around and then I spotted the Funko Pops that were out of the package. I'm not sure how much these are outside of package, but I know they're worth if they're in their package, so just looked at all the different ones there, and then I spotted Harry Potter himself out of the package, of course, but I think I'll take a chance on those, and here's his sidekick. I can't remember what his name because I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, but I know people love Harry Potter, so I went ahead and grabbed both of them, so we'll just see how they do when I bring them live to you. 
And then over here, I was just looking at all the different knickknacks on the shelves and so forth. I really like that trinket box down there with the lady on it. Love the colors and so forth. But then I noticed that it had a chip right there. Made me so mad. So here was the rest of stuff. They had clothing. They had new items and packages and again, toys and stuff. Here is a sneak peek of my basket so far that day. Guys, I thought this was so cool. It is a dog nutcracker. How cool is that? So guys, this was the second cart I had. I had two carts that day just packed full of stuff. All right, guys, this is all the stuff that we got today. All from one location. Stay tuned. Went to one more flea market while we were there. This one's called Homestead Flea Market. Mm -hmm. yes, I did. Okay. So guys, I didn't get any video in this flea market except for that first one there that you just saw. But here was some other displays that they had in the store. And this one was where we hit the lottery. Loved it. As you know, I love the trinket boxes and look at this one. It was absolutely amazing. Wave Crest was the brand. Hey, we are heading back home now after going to two big flea markets. So what do you think about the first one, baby? Uh, I mean, it was, it had some good, some bad, like they all do. Yeah, we had, uh, some places were narrower than others. Right. That one was Highway 102. Uh, thanks to Retro Rick for recommending that place so we had a good time there it was almost like an old retirement home type it place it was it was a retirement so it was and uh each booth had its own room i was like man i wish i lived here so i could have that um and then the second one we went to was homestead i believe yeah i think so and we hit the mother load of trinket boxes i can't remember how many we got in just one area. One and, case had 16 of them. Right? And so we did, throughout the store, Robert just kept finding them. So it's been an awesome day. We were both tired. We ate at Cracker Barrel, heading home, trying to stay awake. <laughs> we got, a, I think, another hour and a half to go. Two hours is what Robert's saying. So what did you think about the second place? It was good. It wasn't as big as that first one, so. Yeah, but at that point, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, it was a very good thing. It was also sloth day, people, so I got tons of sloth stuff, so I can't wait to show you. I got, found you a sloth bank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sloth bank. I'm so tickled. Uh, but lots of stuff, guys. I got lots of new stuff to bring you, to show you and everything. Even the gas station we just stopped at had sloth stickers. Yeah, so I was like, really? Is it sloth everywhere? <laughs> you can definitely find them in Northwest Arkansas. You don't have to search hard for them. Um, but anyways, we're heading back. I might give y'all a sneak peek of what we got a little bit later, but that's the wrap on that trip. All right, guys, here is the sneak peek of what we got at the first stop of the flea market. So, all of this is what I picked up on the first one. Obviously, that sloth there is mine. The one on the Wizard of Oz, I might sell it. I already have one like that, but I might keep it too. And the sloth piggy bank that Robert was telling you that he found for me. I love him. He is so adorable. Look at him. So, that's obviously something I'm keeping. I did get... Three pairs of these socks. One of them is mine. Two of you will have a chance to look like me if you want to. But there you go. This is everything that I bought just in that one place. Obviously, lots of trinket boxes because I love those. This is a really cool jewelry box. So, there you go.
go. This is actually from the dealership at, at Harley Davidson, so that would be cool. Some of this will end up in the flea market. Some of it I will actually bring live to you at one of my options. So again, this right here is the first stop that we made, the first flea market that we stopped at, the big one. And so there's your sneak peek. All right, guys, and this was the second place we went to. Obviously, you can pick out what I'm keeping, but the rest of these will be up for sale. We hit the mother load of trinket boxes at this one. So here's just a quick sneak peek. Obviously, these two things I'm keeping. Isn't it cute? And then all of this. So again, all of this will be coming either to an auction or will be going into my booth. But this one again was our second stop that day. And guys, when we went and ate at the Cracker Barrel, I cannot resist this one. This is Ho Ho Sloth. So ready for the holidays with a holiday sloth. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, see, I love my sloth. So all the sloth stuff, of course, is mine, except for the ones that I pointed out that I will be selling. A lot of that will be coming live to the auction. Uh, a few of them will go to my booth, so stay tuned, and remember, guys, that the dream is for free, but that hustle is sold separately. Bye, guys. Okay, let's do this thing.